Welcome to this class, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Today we're gonna to do a class to focus on activating the power of our navel center so that we can manifest and live our life purpose. In yoga, a lot of um, dormant power lies at the navel and that is the place that we want to awaken so that it can start to spill out into our lives. So there's a bhavana, there's an affirmation I want to invite you to practice today. I am embracing my power. You guys say that together. I am embracing my power and living my life and manifesting my life purpose. You guys say that. And manifesting my life purpose. I am embracing my power and manifesting my life purpose. I am embracing my power and manifesting my life purpose. Great, we're gonna start with a little practice called Kapalabhati. And Kapalabhati is um, a breathing practice that we do, which is a continuous exhalation. Please bring your left hand to your navel center. Bring your right hand, make a pretend candle in front of you and I want you to blow that candle out go shh, and feel how your left hand comes into your belly now relax the left hand relax the belly and notice that the air comes in automatically so let's just try that a couple of times go shh, 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 shh. very good hung huh? good now do it through your nose And then lower your right hand, and then bring it to a close. As we do this practice, if you wanna keep your left hand at your belly to remind you of what the belly is doing, please do that, okay? We're gonna do three rounds, just of 27, and, um, and then we'll take a breath in between just so you can feel the energy of this pose. Remember that we're here to activate our navel center, so feel the navel becoming enlivened. Okay, so close your eyes, take a deep breath in, and exhale out, and inhale in, and exhale out, and then please start Kapalabhati, 27. Exhale all the way, and then take a deep breath in, the deepest breath possible. Feel the lower belly, feel the sides of the lungs and the top of the chest. And then as you exhale, exhale as quietly as you can. You feel the breath leaving the top of the chest, the sides of the lungs, and then at the navel. Notice how the navel moves in towards the spine. Take another breath here and just feeling the effects of Kapalabhati. And when you're ready, let's begin our next round. Take a deep breath in, exhale out, and then begin your next round. And then exhale all the way. Now take a deep breath in, even deeper than last time. Just when you think you can't breathe in anymore, take a little bit more air in, sip the air in. And then exhale as quietly as you can. Inhale deeply. And exhale deeply, feeling the full power, full potential of Kapalabhati. Let's do one more round of 27, please. So take a deep breath in. Exhale out. And then begin.
and then exhale all the way. Exhale a little bit more and a little bit more, and then take a deep breath in. And at the top of the inhale, I want you to actually hold the breath this time. So breathe in so deeply. Hold the breath, and in your mind, repeat this bhavana. As you hold the breath, repeat this bhavana. I am embracing my power and manifesting my life purpose. I'm embracing my power and manifesting my life purpose. Exhale quietly. And then just take a couple, a few deep breaths as we move into the second practice here, which is one-to-one -one breathing, pure breath. So what I'd like you to do is to keep inhaling and exhaling, feeling the effects of Kapalabhati. Begin to feel that you're filling up the lower belly. So feel the lower belly becoming full with breath, full of prana. And then feel the lower belly filling up and then the sides of the lungs. And then feel the lower belly filling up, the sides of the lungs, and then the top of your chest. So just like you're pouring a cup of water into a glass, you can feel the breath filling the lungs in this way, the, the trunk or the torso of your body, filling up the lower belly, the sides of the lungs, and then the top of the chest. And as you exhale, feel the breath leaving the top of your chest, the sides of the lungs, and then the lower belly. Feel that the breath is even, smooth, and deep. As you breathe in and breathe out, repeat that bhavana in your mind. I'm embracing my power and manifesting my life purpose. I'm embracing my power and manifesting my life purpose. Place that bhavana, place that feeling of embracing your power at your navel center. Take two more breaths here. Breathe in as fully and deeply as possible. Exhale as deeply as possible. I am embracing my power and manifesting my life purpose. Very good. Bring your hands to Namaste Mudra. Rub the palms together, please. And bring the hands over your eyes. Take a breath in. Very nice. And then exhale and bring the hands to the floor. And please come on to all fours. Come on to Chakra Vakasana on all fours. Hands and knees. Once you've come to all fours, please do a few cat cows here. Come into spinal extension. Lift the chest and heart. Come into flexion. Round the back bringing the chin towards the chest. Do that two more times. Inhale, lift the chest and heart, and exhale and round the back. And then the next time you come to inhale, lift the chest and heart, please exhale, come into downward facing dog. Come into downward facing dog. Very nice. Now inhale, come to all fours. Lift the chest and heart and exhale. Come into downward dog and see if you can move from your navel center. So move to downward dog from the navel center. Feel the navel move towards the spine. Inhale, come to all fours. Lift the chest and heart. Come, from, come to the pose through the navel center. Exhale, press back into downward dog and push the navel center towards the spine. Inhale, come to all fours. I am embracing my power. Exhale, come to downward dog and manifesting my life purpose. Inhale, I am embracing my power. Come to your knees, lift the chest, embrace your power. Exhale, come to downward facing dog and manifesting my life purpose. Do it one more time, please. Inhale, come to all fours. And exhale, downward facing dog. Let's stay in downward dog for just a few breaths. 
spread through the fingers. Um, and Neka, come and bring your feet back just a little bit more. Turn the heels out just a little bit. Nice. Lift the ski slopes of your buttocks upwards. Lift the toes to engage the thighs, but don't lift the heels up. You're going to press the leg bones back just a little bit more. Inhale deeply, exhale deeply. I am embracing my power. Inhale, come to plank pose. Now I really want you to squeeze the sides of the belly into the midline. Press back through the heels of your feet. Let the hips dip just a little bit and then very slowly come all the way down to the floor, please. Very nice. Bring the hands down beside your waist. Rest the forehead onto the floor. We're going to do a pose called Shalabhasana. As we're doing this, kind of sense the navel center as it presses into the belly. So bring the hands down beside your waist, lift the chest, lift the legs up as high as you can. Very good. We're going to hold it here for about six seconds. Lift from the inner thighs, lift the inner thighs up. Exhale, come on down. You can bring the forehead to the floor, turn the head to the sides. Inhale, lift the chest, lift the legs. Very nice. Lift from the inner legs. Keep the legs as straight as possible. Turn the corners of your mouth upwards. Exhale, come on down. I am embracing my power and manifesting my life purpose. Take that bhavana, take that feeling of manifestation to your navel center. Lift the legs, lift the chest. Very good. Lift from the inner thighs. Now if you find it's easy to lift from the chest, then come down in the chest a little bit and lift more in the legs. Exhale, come on down. Beautiful, Miguel. Very nice. Inhale, come on back up. Lift up the chest, lift up the legs as high as you can. Again, the invitation is to lower the chest a little bit. Lift the legs up a little bit more. Try to straighten your legs a little bit more, Enos. There you go. Exhale, come on down. Very nice. Come on back up. Lift up. I am embracing my power and manifesting my life purpose. We're entering into manifestation. <laughs> Exhale, come on down. Very nice. Inhale, come on back up. Lift up the legs, lift up the chest. Beautiful. And then come on down. And one more time. Inhale, come on up. Let's go for broke. Lift up the legs as high as you can. Keep the legs as straight as possible. Lift up from the inner thighs, lift the manubrium, lift the jugular notch, lift the heart, lift the corners of your mouth. Yes, exhale, come on down. Just take a deep breath in here, please. Inhale deeply. I am embracing my power. Feel the power at the navel center. Exhale, let's bring the hands underneath the shoulders. Come up onto your knees. And before we press into Downward Dog, please bring two blocks in front of your mat. Very good. And then come into Downward Facing Dog. And then inhale, lunge your right foot up to your hands. We're going to do Anjaneyasana, runner's lunge. Stay on the back toes. Bring the blocks underneath your hands, please. And come on the fingertips there. Very nice. Now elongate the spine. Lift the right toes just for a moment and think about pressing back through the left heel. Exhale, bring the hands to the floor. Bring the right foot back, downward facing dog. Nice, inhale, take the left foot forward. Again, take the hands on top of the blocks which are underneath the shoulders, a little closer to you, Tammy. Or bring the left foot forward a little bit more so the heel is underneath the knee. Press back through the right heel Draw the chest forward, elongate the, ne the neck. Exhale, bring the hands to the floor, downward facing dog. Inhale, take the right foot forward. Think about lifting the pubic bone and bring the hands to the blocks. Bring, lift the pubic bone up towards the navel. Bring the chin into the chest just a little bit to elongate the back of your neck. Exhale, take the right foot back, downward facing dog. Inhale, take the left foot forward. Bring the hands to the blocks, come on the fingertips. Then again, bring the chin a little to the chest. Lift the heart forward. 
Press back through the right heel of the foot. Exhale, bring the hands to the floor, downward facing dog. We're gonna do it two more times each side. Bring the right foot forward. Very nice. Bring the chin in a little bit. Lift the pubic bone away from the uh, thigh towards the navel. Exhale, bring the right foot back, downward facing dog. Take the left foot forward. Inhale, lunge pose. Hands, fingertips. Now press back through that right heel. Lift this leg up a little bit more. There you go, a little bit more, a little bit more. Little, there you go. Now bring the pubic bone forward. Exhale, take the left foot back, downward facing dog. Very nice, Tammy. Bring the left foot forward. Nice, was that right? Right foot forward, bring your right foot forward. I'm sorry, bring your right foot forward. And bring the chin slightly in. Now lift that back leg up a little bit. Press back through the left heel. Nice, and then bring the right foot back, downward facing dog. Bring the left foot forward. Very nice. Press back through the right heel. There you go. And then exhale, take the left foot back, downward facing dog. One more time, bring the right foot forwards. Uh-huh, and now this time what I'd like you to do is to softly bring your left knee down to the floor, slide the blocks back, and place the blocks underneath your shoulders, use them as a prop, and then straighten the right leg. You might need to shimmy that right foot forward a little bit more. Bend, uh, flex the right foot. And now lift the chest up, and then come over the right leg just a little bit, but keep the spine elongated here, so no rounding in the back. Keep that right foot flexed. Take about three more breaths here. I am embracing my power and manifesting my life purpose. Inhale, one more breath, and then exhale, bend the right knee, take the right foot back, downward facing dog. And then take the left foot forward. Very nice, bring the hands to the blocks. Pause there in lunge pose. And then softly place the right knee down to the floor. Slide the blocks back a little bit. Straighten the left leg. And flex the left toes. Very good, so using the blocks, maintain that length. Maintain that length through the spine. And then start to come forward just a little bit without losing that extended spine. So keep the spine extended. Bring the chin slightly in just a little bit, Sarah. Inhale, two more breaths. Breathing in deeply. Bring the chin in just a little, there you go. Exhale deeply. And then softly bend the left knee, take the hands to the floor, put the blocks to the sides, and then exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale deeply, exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, walk, step, or float, the feet up to the hands. Exhale, fold. Have the feet about hip distance apart, then bring the hands to the waist, extend the spine forward, and inhale, come on up with an erect spine. Exhale, let the hands come to the sides. Just take a deep breath in here. Feel the culmination of all the postures we've done so far and feel yourself radiating from your navel center. I am embracing my power. I am embracing my power. Very nice. So let's do chair pose. So from here, bend the knees and bring the hands forward and sit back as if you're sitting into a chair. Lift the pubic bone upwards. So lift the pubic bone upwards. Exhale, inhale, come and stand. Exhale, bring the hands to the sides, Tadasana. Inhale, bring the arms, reach up and sit back into chair pose. This time, lift the toes just a little bit. Now, right there, come up a little bit higher. Now, bring the chest up and the arms, there you go. Inhale, come and stand back up. Exhale, bring the arms down to the sides. Take a breath in and exhale. Inhale, bend the knees, sit back into chair. Very good. So again, lift the toes, sit back more into the heels of your feet. 
See if you can feel the back bend here deepening. Inhale, come and stand. Exhale, bring the arms down to the sides, Tadasana. Inhale, sit back into chair. Very good, lift the toes, lift the inner arches of your feet. Sit back a little bit more, lift up in the center of your chest, then lift up at the manubrium, bring the arm bones back, sit back, inhale, come and stand. Exhale, relax the arms to the sides. Take a breath in and exhale out. Inhale, come and sit back into chair. This time we're actually gonna hold it for a few more breaths. So sit back into chair. Really want you, Hong, to lift your toes up. Come back more into the heels of your feet. Maybe don't sit back so much. Come out of it just a little bit and then see if you can create more of an extension in the spine. Lift the chest up. Lift the heart up towards the ceiling. Beautiful, Aneka. Inhale, one more breath. And then exhale, inhale, come and stand. Exhale, bring the hands this time to Namaste Mudra. Breathe in deeply and exhale deeply. Bring your hands just over your navel center just for a moment. Close your eyes as you breathe in and breathe out. I want you to invite you to seed that intention, that bhavana into the navel center. I am embracing my power. I am embracing my power and manifesting my life purpose. Take one more breath in and exhale out. And let's practice Sun Salutation C series. Sun Salutation C, classical Sun Salutation. Inhale, bring the arms, reach up, go back if it feels good. Exhale, fold forward into Uttanasana. Inhale, step the right foot back as far as you can. Bring the knee down to the ground with the chest forward. Exhale, take the left foot back, come into downward facing dog. Inhale, come to plank pose. Exhale, bring the knees, the chest, the chin to the floor. Inhale, slide forward into cobra, bhujangasana. Exhale, come into downward facing dog. From here, inhale, step your right foot up to your hands. Bring the left knee this time to the floor. Exhale, take the left foot up to the hands and fold forward into Uttanasana. Inhale, reverse swan dive, extend through the spine, bring the arms reach up. Go back as much as it feels good here. Beautiful, Sarah. Exhale, Namaste Mudra. Close your eyes, take a deep breath. I am embracing my power and manifesting my life's purpose. I'm embracing my power. Inhale, bring the arms, reach up to the sky. Go back if it feels good. Exhale, fold forward into Uttanasana. Inhale, take your right foot back as far as you can, knee to the ground. Exhale, take the left foot back, downward facing dog. Very good. Inhale, come into plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest, chin to the ground. Inhale, slide forward into Cobra, Bhujangasana. Exhale, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, take the right foot up to the hands, left knee to the ground, Anjaneyasana. Exhale, left foot up to the hands, fold forward into Uttanasana. Inhale, reverse swan dive, extend the spine. Lift up at the pubic symphysis, reach back if it feels good, exhale, namaste mudra. Take a breath here. I'm embracing my power and manifesting my life's purpose. Inhale, bring the arms, reach out and up. Lift up, go back if it feels good. Press down into the heels of your feet. Exhale, swan dive, fold forward, extend the spine as you come forward. Inhale, take the right foot back as far as you can, knee to the ground. Exhale, take the left foot back, downward facing dog. Inhale, come into plank pose. Exhale, bring the knees, the chest, the chin to the floor. Inhale, slide forward into Cobra, Bhujangasana. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, take the right foot up to the hands, Anjaneyasana, left knee down. 
Exhale, take the left foot up to the hands. Uttanasana, fold forward. Inhale, reverse swan dive. Come on up, sides of the belly in as you reach up. Go back, go back. This is the last one. Exhale, namaste mudra. Bring your hands again to your navel center. And just seed or place this bhavana at the navel center. I'm embracing my power. Manifesting my life's purpose. Feel the potency, the pranic forces awakening as we do these different postures. And let's channel those pranic forces to manifesting our life's purpose. Let's practice sun salutation A now. So inhale, bring the arms, reach up to the sky. Exhale, fold forward into Uttanasana. Inhale, half lift, lift the chest and heart. Exhale, fold, take the feet back, come into downward facing dog. Inhale into plank pose. Exhale, bring the, uh, come down to Chaturanga or to the floor. Inhale, up into up dog. Exhale, come into downward facing dog. Stay here for five breaths. Inhale deeply and exhale deeply. Inhale deeply and exhale deeply. Inhale deeply, exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, walk, step or float, the feet up to the hands. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, reverse uh, swan dive. Come on up with a nice extended spine, reach up to the sky. Exhale, namaste mudra. Please take a breath. Inhale deeply, I am embracing my power. And manifesting my life's purpose. Let's do another round. Inhale, bring the arms, reach up to the sky. Exhale, fold forward into Uttanasana. Inhale, come up into half lift. Exhale, fold, take the feet back, come into downward facing dog. Inhale into plank pose. Exhale, come down to Chaturanga or to the floor. Inhale, up dog or cobra and exhale, downward facing dog. Let's take five breaths, breathing in one, press down through the fingers, press down through each knuckle. Breathe in two, Pr lift a little bit in the forearms. So lift the forearms a little bit away from the floor. Three, hollow the armpits a bit. Four, lift your toes and press the leg bones back. Press your leg bones back now. There you go. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, walk, step or float, the feet up to the hands. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, reverse swan dive. Come on all the way back up. Reach up to the sky and exhale. Namaste mudra. I am embracing my power. Place that intention at the navel center. Feel this power starting to build at the navel center and send it to your life's purpose. Inhale, bring the arms, reach out and up. Exhale, fold forward into Uttanasana. Inhale, half lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold, come into downward facing dog. Inhale, into plank pose. Exhale, Chaturanga or to the floor. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in one, again, press down into the hands. Breathe in two, lift the forearms away from the floor. Breathe in three, hollow the armpits. Breathe in four, lift the ski slopes of your buttocks upwards if you can. Lift the toes. And five, press the leg bones back. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, walk, step, or float, the feet up to the hands. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive, come on all the way back up. And exhale, namaste mudra. Take a breath in. 
and out. Just place the hands again over the navel center. I am embracing my power. Breathe that in. Breathe that in. Manifesting my life's purpose. Inhale deeply and exhale deeply. Very good. Okay, bring your left foot back as far as you can, or about three feet, and have the right toes forward. Turn the back foot on an angle a little bit more, Hong. There you go. And bring the right knee forward and bring the arms up to the sky, warrior one. So as you're in warrior one, keep working on squaring the hips. The left hip is rolling forward. Lift the chest up, lift the manubrium. You're also lifting at the pubic bone. Take the sides of the belly in, press down into the outer edge of the left foot. Lift the left inner arch. Beautiful, I am embracing my power. I am embracing my power. Very nice, and then straighten the right leg. Bring the hands to the waist. Lift up through the center of your chest. Lift your right toes just for a moment. Very good, now keep that engagement in the right leg and then come forward over the right leg to the point before you start rounding. So keep the spine as extended as possible, straightening the right leg, Parsh Votanasana, Pyramid Pose. Now bring the chin slightly to the chest a little bit more. Take the sides of the belly into the midline. Draw the shoulder blades a little bit back as you bring the heart forward. Take one more breath in, and then inhale, come in, uh, up with the torso, and then step your left foot up to your right foot, and just have the hands to the sides. Turn the palms open for a moment. I am embracing my power. I am embracing my power. Very good. And then let's step the right foot back this time. The left foot's forward. Step the foot back about three feet, three, maybe four. Turn the right toes in just a little bit more so you feel more stable in your gait. You want to square the hips. And then bend the left knee over the ankle and bring the arms reach up to the sky. Very good. Inhale deeply. Exhale deeply. Inhale deeply. I'm embracing my power. Lift up at the pubic bone, the pubic symphysis. Take the sides of the belly into the midline. Lift your left toes just for a moment and feel the left heel of the foot pressing down into the floor. Take one more breath in. And then exhale, straighten the left leg. Bring the hands to the waist. Squeeze the hips into the midline. So squeeze your hips to the midline. And then inhale, lift up through the chest, draw the shoulder blades back. Exhale, come forward over that left leg without rounding. Keep those hips squared, the right hip coming forward a bit. Squeeze the hips into midline, press down through the right outer heel. Lift up through the right inner arch. There you go, Miguel. Take two more breaths. Inhale, I'm embracing my power and manifesting my life's purpose. Very nice. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, step the right foot up to the left foot and just pause for a moment. Take a deep breath in and exhale out. Very good. So let's step, uh, turn and face this side of the room Bring the feet wide apart. So I would say about four feet. We're gonna do triangle pose. Cross your arms and turn your right foot to the right here, okay? Now, squeeze the hips into the midline. So bring your hands to your hips just for a moment and just feel like what it's like to squeeze those hips in. Lift up the chest. And then bring the hands, cross the elbows, cross the arms, let the elbows drop. And then exhale, bring your right shoulder to your right hip bone. Very good. Really squeeze the lateral obliques on the right side. Inhale, come back up. 
And exhale, take the right shoulder to the right hip bone. Very good. And spiral the chest open. Let's do it one more time. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, take the right shoulder to the right hip bone. This time, bring the left hand up towards the sky. Expand the chest as much as you can. Roll the navel, roll the, um, the heart up towards the ceiling, and then just let the right hand drop down the right leg and just pause here for a moment. Don't hold the leg, just let it kind of hang there. Inhale deeply. Exhale deeply. Beautiful, Aneka. Inhale deeply. Exhale deeply. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, turn the right toes in, and just bring the hands back to the navel just for a breath. I'm embracing my power and manifesting my life's purpose. Inhale, bring the arms out to the sides. Exhale, bring the hands to the hips. Turn the left foot to the left and squeeze the hips into the midline as much as you can. Lower your hands just a little bit more. There you go. Squeeze them in, then cross the arms and let the elbows drop. Inhale here, exhale, bring the left shoulder to the left hip bone. Nice. Squeeze those lateral obliques. Inhale, come back up. And exhale, come bring the left shoulder to the left hip bone. Roll the heart open a little bit more. Tammy, bring that right shoulder back a little bit more. Inhale, come back up. And exhale, come back into the pose. Left shoulder to left hip bone. Nice. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, left shoulder to left hip bone. Now, this time, take your right hand, reach up to the sky. Roll the shoulder, roll the heart, roll the navel up there. And then let the left hand just come down towards the floor, not really reaching for anything. Let it kind of hang there. Keep squeezing the lateral obliques on the left side. I am embracing my power. Take another breath here. And then inhale, come back up. And turn the right, uh, left toes in. Bring the hands to the navel. Just take a breath. Inhale deeply and exhale deeply. Okay, so what I'd like you to do is take two of your blocks and um, uh, stack them up like this and then place those two blocks, um, draw a, a triangle from your toes to a point in front of you and place those blocks there. We're gonna practice a revolving uh, triangle pose. So bring the arms out to the sides, inhale, exhale, take the right hand to the blocks, bring the left hand up towards the sky. There you go. Inhale, come back up. And exhale, uh, come back over. Bring the left hand to the blocks and right hand up. Inhale, come back up. And exhale, right hand to the block, left hand reaches up. Lift up in the arches of your feet as you're doing this. Inhale, come back up. And exhale, come back down. Left hand to the blocks. Inhale, come back up. I want you to remember this leg here. And exhale, come back down. Keep pressing down there. Keep pressing down there. Inhale, come back up. That feel different? Exhale, come back down. Left hand to the block. Inhale, come back up. This time we're going to hold the pose. So right hand to the block. Left hand comes up. Very good. So take your right shoulder towards the back of the room. Um, Expand the collarbones as much as you can. Take your left shoulder towards the ocean. Inhale deeply, exhale. Breathe in at the navel center. I am embracing my power. Bring your arm a little bit more up. Bring your arm there. Now open up the chest. There you go. Inhale deeply, exhale deeply. And then inhale, come back up to standing. Exhale, bring the hands to the navel center. Take a deep breath in. 
and exhale out. Inhale in and exhale out. Very good. Inhale, bring the arms out and exhale, take the left hand to the block, right hand reaches up. Expand your heart forward, stay here in the pose, press down more through the left heel of the foot. See if you can bring the left shoulder now towards the ocean. Press into my hand. Press, press, press here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Inhale deeply. Exhale deeply. Inhale deeply. I'm embracing my power and manifesting my life's purpose. Inhale, come on back up. Exhale, bring the hands to the navel center. Very nice. Inhale deeply. Exhale deeply. Beautiful. So let's separate those blocks. So what you're going to do is you're going to come forward. So just separate the blocks so that when you come forward, the blocks will be underneath the shoulders. Bring your hands to your hips. Squeeze the hips to the midline again. And then exhale, come forward about halfway without rounding the back. And then bring your fingertips to the blocks. There you go. And see if you can do a little bit of an up dog with your upper chest. So lean forward a little bit more. There you go. And do a little bit of an up dog. Elongate the back of your neck. Close your eyes and breathe into the navel center. As you exhale, feel the sides of the belly squeeze to the midline. Take the navel towards the spine as you exhale. Inhale fully. Exhale, lift the pubic bone a little towards the navel, navel to spine and sides of the belly in. Take two more breaths like that. I'm embracing my power and manifesting my life's purpose. I'm embracing my power and manifesting my life's purpose. Bring the hands to the hips. If you need to bend your knees a little for support, that's fine. Navel to spine, inhale, come back up. And then exhale, step up to the front of the mat, please. Good. Bring your hands to your navel again. Take a deep breath. I am embracing my power and manifesting my life's purpose. I'm embracing my power and manifesting my life's purpose. All right. So, you guys, let's look at Haley over here. Haley's going to help me demonstrate the next pose that we're going to do, which is Bakasana. For this demonstration, or for when you guys are practicing, we're going to need one block. Now, you can use a foam block or a wooden block. The foam block is a little unbalancing, which you'll quickly realize why. So, it's sometimes it's nice to use a wooden block here. So, come and stand on the foam block. And then you're going to bend your knees and bring your hands to the floor. And the hands are going to kind of come underneath the uh, shoulders. Now you're going to squeeze the knees up as high as you can up the arm towards the armpit. See if you can practice, Haley, keeping your arms as straight as possible. There you go. And now really the theme today is navel center. So we're going to pull the navel up into the spine. So as you're there, Pull the navel up into the back of the spine. Practice lifting one foot off and then practice lifting the other foot off if you can. And keep lifting up through the navel center. Lift up in the navel. Beautiful. And come on down. All right. So the other way, I want you guys to actually practice both techniques because they're both, you can learn a lot from them. Now what we found was with Haley specifically, um, it's nice sometimes to bring two blocks on each other or you can also just put one uh, like this. So you can play around with that. But what you're going to do is set up for crow first. So bring the hands underneath the shoulders, bring the knees up as high as you can. If you can, keep the arms as straight as possible. <laughs> and then you're going to bring the top of your head, leave the feet on the floor, but then bring the top of your head down and start to practice lifting one foot up at a time and then both feet up. 
and then lift up the head. Woo! <laughs> so you can see it plays with balance a little bit, and what we're trying to do here is access our core muscles a little bit more. So I'm gonna give you guys about a minute to try that. Please do both options and, um, and then see how you guys do. It's a beautiful way to practice bakasana. Very nice. So come more hung on the toes. Um, come more, there you go. And then come on down. There you go. Lift the knees up as high as you can. There you guys got it. Good job. All right, Trina. Keep lifting the navel up into the spine. There you go. Tammy, maybe practice bringing your hands forward more. Your hands are a little close to the block, even more forward. There you go. Now lean forward a bit. There, and then just from there, squeeze the knees into the armpits and then lift one foot up. There you go. Lower that foot down and then lift the other foot up. There you go. And then move to the other option. So bring the block forward, rest the forehead onto the block, and then practice lifting uh, the feet up, and then lift the head away from the block. Very nice. <laughs> the goal of this practice is just to awaken our core power. So think about really starting to come from the core, okay? There you go, Trina. <laughs> Beautiful. That's it. That's great, you guys. So that's all we're going to do with Crow today. Come and sit down onto the floor, please. Uh, just put your blocks to the sides. And if you want to, you can sit on one or two blankets. So we're going to do a seated twist here. So if you want to, sit on one or two blankets and cross your uh, legs at the shin bones. As you cross your legs at the shin bones and you get comfortable, um, uh, maybe bring your ankles a little bit um, further forward, Sarah. So bring your ankles a little bit forward. Bring your two fingers, your index finger and your middle finger, bring it to your ankles, or sorry, your heels, and push into the heels. And as you do that, you'll feel the hip bones come into the midline, right? So I want you guys to keep those hips engaged. Bring your hands to the shoulders and lift up as much as you can. Very good. And lift up the chest and then exhale, twist to your right. Very nice, Tammy. Stay there for six seconds. Four, five, six, and come back to center. Very nice. Inhale, lift up the chest. Exhale, twist to your right. Keep pressing through the heels of your feet, please. Keep lifting up through the midline as much as you can, Sarah. There you go. Inhale, come back to center. Lift up again a little bit more. Think about the navel lifting to the heart here. Exhale, twist to your right. And as you twist to your right as much as you can, embrace that bhavana. I'm embracing my power. I'm embracing my power. Inhale back to center. Good, lift up everything as much as you can and then exhale, twist to your right. Nice. Keep twisting a little bit more. Very nice, Karen. Inhale, come back to center. Good, feel like you're lifting at the pubic bone, the pubis symphysis. Exhale, twist to your right. Good, squeeze the hips into the midline. Nice, and then inhale back to center. And exhale, twist one more time to the right. Very nice, very nice. And then come back to center. And then exhale, bring the hands to the knees. Inhale deeply and exhale deeply. Have a sense of pranic energy building at the navel center. I'm embracing my power. <coughs> I'm 
Good, let's do the other side. Bring the hands to your shoulders. Lift the elbows up a bit, but really more lifting the chest. Lift your chest up. And then exhale, twist to your left. Push through the heels of the feet. There you go. Twist a little bit more. Inhale, back to center. Lift up through the chest, lift the elbows up, lift up at the pubic symphysis. Exhale, twist to your left. Nice, push through the heels of the feet. Pull that right hip bone down into the uh, blanket or to the floor. Inhale, come back to center. Squeeze the hips into the midline. Exhale, twist to your left. Again, we're holding this for six seconds. One, two, three. Four, five, six, come back to center. Squeeze the hips into the midline. Push through the heels of the feet. Lift the chest up. Exhale, twist to your left. Keep pushing that, take that back. Take this back, there, even more. There you go, now keep that there, twist. Good, six, inhale, come back. Lift up the chest. Lift up, 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 exhale, twist to your left. Keep pressing through the heels of your feet. This is really engaging the anterior obliques, both internal and external. But you can also feel the solar plexus engaging. Inhale, come back to center. Lift up, I'm embracing my power. Exhale, twist to the left. Beautiful, keep pressing through the heels of your feet. Nice. And six, inhale, come back, exhale, relax the hands down to the knees. Inhale deeply and exhale deeply. Inhale deeply and exhale deeply. What we're gonna do from here is to come on to our backs, please. So come on to our backs. And we're gonna do bridge posts. So bend your knees like you would for bridge posts. Very nice. So bring the arms out to the sides like a T. Bring your feet, have the heels or the ankles just on the outsides of the hips. And um, bring your feet a little bit wider, Hong. There you go. And then lift the hips up as high as you can and squeeze the glutes. Squeeze the glutes. Lift the toes up just a little bit. Press down into the heels of the feet. Lift the hips up a little bit higher. And then slowly come on down. Take a breath in. I'm embracing my power. Bring that bhavana to the navel center. Inhale, lift the hips up as high as you can. Squeeze the glutes, push down into the heels of the feet, lift the toes. Lift up the hips a little bit higher and then slowly come on down. Beautiful. Shake your glutes a little bit and then inhale, come on back up, squeeze them. Squeeze them, squeeze them. Press down into the heels of the feet. Lift the toes. Very nice. Squeeze the glutes. I'm embracing my squeezing. Exhale, slowly come on down. <laughs> Inhale deeply. Exhale deeply. Very good. Inhale, come on back up. Squeeze the glutes. Push down into the heels of the feet, lift the toes up a little bit, and then exhale, come on down. And then inhale, come on back up. Squeeze the glutes. Squeeze them, squeeze them. Push down into the heels of the feet, and then come on down. And then come on up one more time. This time we're gonna just add one little component. So you're gonna squeeze the glutes and then pull the heels towards your shoulders. About 10% effort. And you'll feel this in your hamstrings. As you're doing that, 
really feel like you're embracing your power, embracing that core energy. Exhale, slowly come on down and just pause here for a moment. Bring the knees together. Inhale deeply. Exhale deeply. Inhale deeply. And exhale deeply. Inhale deeply. Exhale deeply. Good. Bring your hands down beside your waist. Very nice. And pull the knees into the chest using your abdominal muscles. So don't hug them. Just pull them in. And then inhale. Push the heels up towards the ceiling. Bring the legs to 90 degrees and simultaneously bring the arms over the head to the floor behind you. And then exhale, bring the hands down beside your waist as you bring your knees into your chest. So do that as one movement. Inhale, push the heels up as you bring the arms over the head. Keep pressing up through the inner heel. Exhale, bring the knees into the chest and bring the hands down beside your waist. Inhale, bring the arms reach up. Push up through the inner heels. Exhale, pull the knees into the chest as you bring the hands down beside you. Beautiful breathing, Sarah. Inhale, bring the arms reach up. Push up through the heels of your feet. Exhale, bring the knees into the chest. Inhale, bring the feet up to the sky. Very nice. And exhale, bring the knees into the chest. And we'll do it one more time. Inhale, come on up. Now this time we're going to just stay here for a couple of breaths. Bring your legs to about 90 degrees. Feel that you're pulling the femur bone down into the floor. Press up through the inner heel. Very good. Pull the toes, the pinky toes back. Inhale deeply and exhale deeply. Inhale deeply. Exhale deeply. Keep pushing up through the inner heel. Keep pulling the leg bones down. As you exhale, squeeze the musculature of your abdominals into the midline. And then very slowly, if you would like to, you can just bring the legs down or do this little challenge. You're going to take 15 seconds to lower the legs to the floor. So on my count, one, two, three, four, five. Keep pushing through the heels of your feet. Keep lowering down. And then five, four, three, two, and one. All the way down. Bring the hands to the sides. Set up for Shavasana. Take a moment to set up for your Shavasana. As you start to settle into Shavasana, begin to breathe in deeply and exhale deeply. The palms to the sides and embrace this bhavana. I am embracing my power and manifesting my life's purpose. I'm embracing my power and manifesting my life's purpose. Feel the whole navel center completely enlivened. Inhaling deeply, 
Feel that the breath is becoming smooth. Feel that there's no pauses in the breath. As you breathe in and breathe out, make a gentle effort to breathe in evenly and deeply. Allowing the serene flow of the breath to guide the mind inward.
Let's take a deep breath in through your nose and exhale through your nose. If you'd like to wiggle your fingers or wiggle your toes to gently bring your mind back into your body. Bend one knee really slowly. And then bend the other knee. And then just take your time and slowly roll over. Stay here as long as you need to before returning back to life. Just carrying that relaxed state with you. And when you're ready, slowly come to sit up. Once you find a comfortable seat, establish a meditative quality of breath. Bring your hands to your belly for a moment. As you breathe in and breathe out, just silently repeat that bhavana, I'm embracing my power and manifesting my life's purpose. Embracing my power and manifesting my life's purpose. Namaste, everybody. Have a super wonderful day.